Hi guys, my name is Jason. Welcome to the channel. I'm in my Polaris Ranger 570 midsize. I'm going to try to help you figure out why you can't go over 15 miles an hour. If you notice, I have the seatbelt light flashing. It means I don't have my seatbelt on. Let's go for a ride and see what happens. I have the pedal floored and I'm only going 15 miles an hour. Let's see if we can fix that. Alright, so one way to fix that obviously would be put your seatbelt on. So there might be instances where you want to get in and out often and don't want to go put your seatbelt on and off every time. So let's uh, show you this item I found on Amazon. It's a, it's a jumper switch. Plugs into your seatbelt safety sensor and then the Polaris thinks your seatbelt's fastened. Let me show you how to install that. So under your seat is a sensor. If you unplug it, put the bypass in. Let's go for a ride and see what happens. So flashing. If I push down on the seatbelt buckle release button and stop flashing. that helps you figure out how to go over 15 without wearing your seatbelt please take the time to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon for future notifications thanks for watching hey folks real quick for some reason my Polaris Ranger didn't like the bypass switch so as you can see I reconnected it shortly after putting the bypass switch in I received a check engine light and a power steering warning light my power steering went out so I turned the machine off, put the safety switch back to where it was when I, before I put the bypass in, started the vehicle and the check engine light and power steering warning cleared. It's a 2023 Polaris Ranger SP570, so maybe the bypass doesn't work on all, all Rangers. So FYI.